You're listening to The Dirty Podcast. The Dirty Podcast. Where we dig up the dirt on conspiracies, politics, and more. about that intro though you know what i'm Welcome saying courage. Alrighty, boys episode one of the dirty podcast coming at you live from tdp network studios we got corn dog in the house sure and the one and only the man the myth the legend big dirt i was told there would be free cheese danishes yeah. um Lord knows you don't need any more cheese danishes. Um, so, yeah. Let's get this baby started. So, what's the breaking news today, Dave? I, I heard you mentioning something earlier about we finally have a... I ran and it okay. finally that it unintentionally shot down the Ukrainian shot. So that may come as a shock to some people that thought, wow, maybe that Boeing jet had a severe mechanical issue. But no, right. weird. Turns out that Iran accidentally shot it down. Wow. Right. At, well, you know, you know how it's funny oh, how it's on not. the news today, all you have seen is like, all of these things about Boeing and their employees saying like, oh, these 737s were junk to begin with. I would never put my family member on a 737. It's, it feels to me like they're trying to kind of, I don't know, like cover up or like come in behind it to like... Well, they did. CNN. Yeah, to within make the United it, States it, look good. No, it looks so bad. Within a day of the break, CNN ran an article saying, "Oh, it looks like it's going to be big problems for uh for for Boeing." And right, how can you say that when you have no evidence of anything yet? And I, it was obvious that I ran shot it down. Come on. Well, there, yeah, there, I mean, I, there was literally I was... videotape of a rocket going up into the air and the airplane bursting into flames and coming back down to the ground. It's video of it circulating like on YouTube. Yeah, so. and I was on Reddit like the day of, and there was already people, and I don't know where their sources were, but there was already people posting stuff up on the different subreddits about, um, they were showing pictures of obvious like wing damage that is not done by just like it crashing into right. the ground. Oh, you mean a it giant like shrapnel hole? <laughs> yes, exactly. And it's like the exact images they don't show you on the news. Right. And then another guy posted another picture, uh, probably later that day or early the next day, of what looked to be some sort of non-exploded missile nearby. And it's kind of like, uh, okay, and you're going to try to blame Boeing on this when it was obviously hit by a missile? Because, you know, was... Well, how about, you know, when the... You know, Boeing making safety features optional? How is... What's going on with that? Yeah, how how can you <laughs> make it optional? Like, how should that be optional? Like, come on. It's... I... Uh, I... It rack, I just racked my brain. It... I mean, that was the whole spiel tonight on the news. I just happened to have, you know, watch the MSNBC to kind of, you know, get a little precursor to the show here. And that's all that they were talking about was Boeing's, like, Boeing employees saying these airplanes are not safe. Boeing this, Boeing that, Boeing this. Well, you got to also, though, that, that, that uh, we're talking about two totally different planes. It's the same model number, but different. Like, so it's not the max. It's the, I forget the number of the jet. But they have two different versions of it. One of them is the Max, and that's the one that they've been having problems with, with the uh, automatic yeah. flight controls. And then the, the one that wrecked in Iran, though, doesn't have those that system built into it. So, and it, it was a new plane. It's only three years old. I mean, but 
get off get off Boeing anyway because Boeing had nothing to do with the terrified dude, Iranian sitting in that in that uh, that truck with the uh, anti aircraft missiles on it, right. seeing a blip in the air after he knows they just shot at America, thinking, "Oh God, this is it. <laughs> there it is." <laughs> It's coming in. It's going to bomb it, right? So, you know, that dude's terrified. Boy, he just, you know how it is the first time you see a deer and all of a sudden oh, yeah. quick, you grab your rifle before you're ready to shoot? That's that's what that guy had. That same exact thing, I'm sure. As soon as he saw that blip on the radar, he hit the button. Which, not that I know how these things work. I'm not familiar with the Russian anti-aircraft missiles. Right, exactly. I heard it actually could have had an auto function where it shoots down anything in the sky, but that seems kind of haphazard to me, but whatever. <laughs> now, one thing that leaked was um, before Boeing tightened up their social media policy was that uh, interview with Boeing employees. One Boeing employee asked another, would you put your family on a Max simulator trained aircraft? This is the uh, Boeing 737 Max jet. Right. One asked the other, and they responded, "No." Right. <laughs> yeah, I just see. I feel like this whole like Boeing in the news thing tonight is just like another distraction, like trying to put the blame on something else. Well, all Boeing, really, honestly. Well, they the 737 is a solid point. That's a good point. You've been using it for years and years without hardly any troubles at all. The only time they've had problems is when they put in this new integrated software with the uh, the anti-stall, is it? Uh, I think you're correct. Yeah, it's the anti-stall thing. So why don't they just take that back out and let pilots be pilots and fly the effing plane, you know what I mean? There's so many... Instead of forcing the nose of the plane down, just give off a warning signal that, hey, you're climbing too right. high, too fast, you better stop or you're going to stop. Some kind of panicky sound from the dashboard, like change of oil. Right, which, like, you, know. you know, you would think they would do that yeah. because then it would force people to have to do it and then they right. can make more money. Because you can obviously turn it on and off in the cockpit, so... Yeah, I mean, and they'll be like, oh, we just need to give you new software, which you have to buy. Of course. And, you know, make more money. It's all just about making money. <laughs> In the end, That's... it is. Boeing makes billions and billions of dollars a year, so yeah, you take their ass. Or money. they just won't do anything and just let more of them crash no, until it's... it's like they have to do something. Yeah, they can't fly them. They can't sell them until they get that fixed, so they make them ground them. So, well, I just think it's very convenient. It behooves them to fix it them. as quickly as humanly possible. Yeah. So, in even right. bigger news, bigger news, Mary Ann Williamson dropped out of the uh, Democratic uh, presidential right. campaign today. So, I don't really have a lot of knowledge on her. What was her big spiel? Do you know it all, or is it uh, just not a big deal? Tommy and Walter, the people that support her, I'm sure it's a huge deal. <laughs> right. Uh, she, okay. She's an author, so she writes books. Uh, oh, she's yeah. a self help guru. Oh, oh boy. Exactly what we need as a president. <laughs> she. All right. At the debates that they had, she, she, she's. I mean, God bless her, but she seems like the nicest person. I'll just say that about but she's just right. really out there. I mean, and like as liberals are out there, she's passed out there for liberal. I mean, she's out there. So, oh. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, in the, in the nicest kind of way. She's too sweet woman, but yeah, just really. Okay. Okay. So I know that Dave. Dirt, you are a strong proponent of not believing in conspiracy theories. Right. But what is your take on, let's say, an orchestrated, like another 9 11 type of, ta of attack in the United States that could be potentially linked 
to Iran to start a, another war so. in the Middle East. Because that's a more recent idea in the past week or so. That's now, are you asking me? Conspiracy so, theory. I'm kind of wondering if you know how you feel on it. Do you think that could be a thing? Do you think we should keep an eye out? Let's just clarify that we're talking about Iran using one, yes. one of its like Quds force or something like that, somehow sending them across the southern border of our country or the northern border of our country yeah. into our country or flying them in as students and then just having them go road. I, I, you know what, Rex, I totally think that, that Iran probably already has sleeper cells in our country. Oh, I guarantee it. I guarantee right. it. So for them to bring more people in to do more shit, sure, I totally, I, I, well, I, I, I think 1,100% think... that. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. How about you, Core Negative? I... What do you think? Okay. Core Dog, what do you think, buddy? Uh, you know, um, what was that? <laughs> you know, uh, it's corn diggity here, you know. Let's just clarify that here. I got the yeah. vape pen. I'm out here. Uh, I'm browsing the dark net right now, trying to find some all right, threads, all right. you know. All right, all right. Get some okay. other topics going. So coming up in line, we might be talking about okay. Nikola Tesla, you know. Okay, okay. The power um, behind 3, 6, and 9. If only you knew okay. the magnificence of three, six, and nine, then you would have the key to the universe, you know. Okay, I know those are some Satanist numbers. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. So, kind of what I was asking or implying is, do you feel like there could be a, another nine eleven type attack or event to escalate us into a war in Iran? And when I'm saying 9-11 type attack, I'm doing like air quotes and slightly insinuating 9-11 was an inside job. See, now, that, that, now if you told me that, I would have a completely different answer. My answer would be hell to the fuck no, because 9-11 wasn't an inside job. Okay. I, th I think 9, see now, I think 9-11... There were people on the inside that did know about it, and would they do that again? I think they would if they knew it was a war they could control. If it escalated right. to something that would go nuclear, then they would just not want to touch it. Yeah, Either I don't know. Yeah. I don't think anything would go nuclear, to be honest with you. I think everybody knows, like, that would be bad for everybody. To Let's be hope they know that. Let's hope. Um, but, like, two, what's the coincidence with Iran finding, apparently, all of this oil, like, a month ago, and then all of a sudden, all of this Iran stuff starts popping up? Like, yeah, is there a coincidence with all this? No. Well, they can't sell they're it. also one of the, uh, what, last of five countries not controlled by Rothschild Bank? <laughs> well... Dave, you're trying to chime in saying like they can't sell it, but who's to say somebody's not like sneaking it in? No, I mean, no, sure. Okay, so sure that happens. Back way sure deal. that happens. Okay, so the last time I checked, uh, I think Iran was shipping out 25. They, some people do buy oil from them, obviously, China. People right. control China or whatever. So, yeah, they're, they're sneaking out, but they're only sneaking out like 25 million barrels like a day, which is shit nothing. True. So, okay. compared to like Saudi Arabia, who's shipping out, you know, to over, two, over 250 million barrels a day. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. I feel you. I feel you. Okay, so. So it does. They don't one. They don't have the infrastructure really to pump more oil than what they're pumping. Two, you can only sell so much black market oil. You know what I mean? There's not that True. big a thing for it. And when we catch them, um, they're fucked because we'll board their ships and got you like we did in Syria when they were trying yeah. to sell their oil to Syria to Bashar al-Assad. So, yeah. In in your opinion, we'll just kind of wrap up some of this Iran stuff. Well, kind of. Um, 
do you think we would even go to war again or like an official like sending over thousands of troops like boots to on the ground, da, 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 da. yeah exactly right. so okay so i'm against wars like that for our country i yeah, I, I don't think they're good no, as a, definitely not. As a libertarian, I'm going to stay out of stuff like that. So It's great for the right. military-industrial complex. We right. know that. What I would like to see, I, I, I'd really just like to see targeted assassinations, right? So we have a problem. Like we're doing. Right, so, you know, I, we have a problem with Kim Jong-un. If you don't fucking straighten his act, boom, you know, send over a, a scud. Whatever we got to do. Right. And just do them in. You know? Just turn them into right. a pancake. Ah, do you guys hear a drone overhead? <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Every time Kim Jong Un oh. marks outside, I want him looking up, man. Paranoid. What's up, corn dog? What's well, your you take, know, buddy? I think you know. All these wars have to do with nine countries, but I'll talk about eight of them. Okay. And those eight would be. Afghanistan, Iraq, Sudan, yep. Libya, Cuba, North Korea, Syria, and Iran. Yeah. In the year 2000, only uh, the thing all those countries had in common was they were the only countries with the Rothschild Central Bank. They didn't have a Rothschild Central Bank. That is very true. And I think once they do have a Rothschild Central Bank, by any means necessary... You know, that's the reason there's a lot of fighting going on right now. Okay. They want that uh global currency. They want? Yeah. The, the global currency. Well, they can't because most of them have huge, you know, we, we put sanctions on them where they can't actually have money like that. North Korea, Iran, all of them. They, they're not cuban they're, they're not allowed to, to deal with money like that right so they can't really get into the into the banking structure of the, the global yeah. banking structure they're not allowed in <laughs> they get stopped at the door you know, allowed in so true <laughs> so i mean they they i see what what corn is saying about it but yeah they don't really until you know it's what what comes first the chicken or the egg they have to their behavior has to change before they get invited into that community or are allowed back into that community uh well i don't think they're gonna wait for their behavior to change they're just gonna do what they have to do to implement their own people. The United States is going to put their own people in North Korea to pull the strings and let North Korea think if, that they're still in charge. If that was but, possible, you know, kind of why like haven't they already Israel done? Does with us. It's right. kind of like what they do. It's kind of what the United States does with, like, all these countries. Or Israel does with the United States. Oh, well, yeah, we could say that. So We're China not, does. You dig too what, deep. That's that. what China does. <laughs> Dude, how about, like, China you know, controls the fuck out of our country with money. Eh. How about all this Iran, you know, shooting down their plane all over the news? But we have all this stuff still going on in Hong Kong that you never hear about. Right, that's right. Fighting China, for their independence. China, boy, they control it. China's thing. It's just, I sometimes feel like on mainstream media, they put you know, all this extra stuff up and don't tell you what's actually they, going on. And they pump it up like Iran is some kind of problem for the United States. We could deal with Iran Dude, in we a could day. Eliminate right. them in right. a snap right. of right. a right. finger. The first five minutes of the, the war, they would no longer have an air force. And what do you do without oh, an air force? You're yeah. just screwed at that point. Now, so. if we want, you know, I'm just going to just like just kind of dabble this i'm not saying we need to get into this this episode but there are some people out there that say you know iran is in technically that whole ancient mesopotamia area and that 
potentially, you know, if you believe in extraterrestrials, that Iran could secretly have underground alien activity, and that that was the mask, the whole weapons of mass destruction, the war over there, and that what we might still be fighting about now. And it's something to think about. You know, we'll probably do another. We'll probably do a, uh, wow. a follow up on that on another episode. But uh, yes, please. Just kind of throwing that out into the ethers there. If I ever fall yeah. back with brain damage, I'll be sure to enjoy that conversation. All right. You know, I'm sure you'll be there for the conversation, and uh, I will be glad to hear your rebuttal and your I believe immense displeasure. They're under there. They're under the ground. All right. Yeah. We'll talk under about the hollow earth theory. and uh, Underground hummus. Oh, hollow earth, you know. Hollow Earth, Flat Earth, That's... and the new theory, um, Triangle Earth. It's a <laughs> crossover with a rust-based design. <laughs> I actually heard something about like a uh, a geometric-shaped Earth actually recently too. Oh Lord help! Well, I don't believe so it is. Here... That our Earth isn't actually a hundred percent spherical, is it? Round like the true round round circle? Is it a little oblong or something? Yeah, I don't really want to dive too much into the whole round earth, flat earth, hollow earth on this. You know. Because that's just, like a whole you know, two hour spiel we could go on about like facts. Before on we, either you know, side of the we'll, we'll either side of the coin. What are you talking say. about facts? When you're, well, you're, you talking, start when you're talking facts, there can only be one <laughs> fucking side of the coin for flat earth, you moron. Uh, no, we'll, we'll get yeah, into there it. There is. <laughs> It's the Earth. It's a coin. <laughs> I'll say. Let's just say for now yeah. that the Earth. We're all inside one big Pokeball. Pokemon. All right. Is Pokemon? Pokemon. There you go. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. All right. I believe. Right. You know. All right, guys. I'll be right back. Give me two minutes. Y'all talk Should we do a little break? Uh, Grab a drink. Do a little break. Yeah. Sure. Break. You want to take like a how many how many minute break? See you there. I just need five, okay. if that. Five? We'll do five. Okay. All right, and we are back. And... Wow. From the 707, the 142, and Team Speak, the Dirty Patriots. And the 909, you know what I'm saying. Wow. True. All right, um... Oh, boy, oh, boy, do we have other stuff we can talk about here. I mean, I got a list of goodies. Um, <laughs> so, um, as, you know, let's just let's just break this down. Uh, Ricky Gervais came out the other day at the Oscars. This is not exactly brand new news by now. And he started calling out celebrities, basically. And uh, we'll play this quick clip for you. Apple roared into the, the TV game with a morning show. A superb drama, yeah. A superb drama about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing. Made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. So, well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? So... If you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god, and f off. Okay? So... All right, so that was Ricky Gervais calling out everybody the other day. And so, not necessarily myself, but, you know, I have some belief in this, but there is some recent conspiracies that are saying that Ricky Gervais is a part of a small group of celebrities that are trying to start getting all of them to call each other out and in turn 
drain the Hollywood swamp, so to speak. Because he, in, you know, in his own way, kind of pointed out, like, hey, some of you guys are pedophiles. He didn't blatantly say it, but he definitely... Oh, he said in it. In an innuendo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but not like... He said it. Not like pointing at your face saying it, but he definitely said it. <clears throat> All right. You know, um, so that was kind of an interesting thing, interesting little side conspiracy going on. I don't, I don't know much about it yet. I haven't really looked into it. But uh, oh, I got a, another conspiracy I found here on Plebit. Oh, you're looking up conspiracies? Uh, right. uh, Ricky Gervais at the Golden Globes. However, you say okay. his last name. Ricky Gervais. We're all, so yeah, we're, we're all going to die soon. Soon, and there's no sequel remember that yeah. and uh you know people are saying uh you know is he talking about the elites that are gonna be gone or the democrats are losing their shit or you know like there's a few end other... of the world or yeah the whole ideology of this is all a simulation and the simulation is gonna end we don't well, know yeah, I don't think he's talking about an afterlife or anything like that. I think no. he's just talking about Hollywood elites. Right, foreshadowing. All the people there in that room. Yeah, and you notice too, um, and pardon me for forgetting his name, but the guy who plays the villain in the new Star Wars, and, and the older Star Wars, um, he was just smiling. Because he thought it was all funny. Because he's not just one of those Hollywood shills. He's an actual veteran. He's a Marine, an ex-Marine. And he was just kind of like laughing about it. And I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah. yeah. You got it. Yeah. Um, let's see. I, I, you know, I hate that about me. Okay. Being actors and stuff. Like Robert De Niro, right? Oh, Robert De Niro. What can you say about that? Back back when I was a kid, younger, whatever. I used to watch his movies. Man, I love his movies, right? Tough guy, but a badass. You know what I mean? Yeah. And now every time I I see him, all I can think of him is a little snivelly vagina. And I'm like, I I don't want anything to do with you. I don't want to watch your movies because I know deep down inside you're a girl. Do one of the biggest Hollywood complainers yeah. it's like he's just had such a big mouth with the whole you know 2016 election and you know like oh I'm gonna move away and oh Donald Trump blah 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 blah, blah. but he didn't live up to anything he said yeah. neither did pretty much any of the celebrities that were like oh I'll move to Canada if Trump's elected Oh, I'll move to Africa or Europe or wherever. You name a place on the map, you know. Yeah, please do. It's yeah. There's definitely some of them. It'd be nice if they did. Yeah. Um, I seen kind of an interesting thing the other day. Uh, a guy. I I like to read a lot of people's ideas on things and whether or not you want to call them conspiracies or just general thoughts and things but uh now i haven't really dove into this too much it was more just kind of like i was like hmm that's interesting there's a fellow that i don't know where he's getting this from but he seems to think that video games are creating autism in people that what video games are creating autism Oh my god, that's what like, happened. Like ruining rest. people's brains? It. No, it's not. No. I just thought that was kind of a silly. Bro, the circuitry can make on rust. Bro. <coughs> man, I, I wish I was close to you, corn dog. <laughs> um, let's see. What else do we have? Um, okay, here's one for you. So, you know how we've been having all these fires in Australia, right? And how the mainstream media was just kind of started reporting on it two weeks ago. Uh-huh. Even though they've been going on since November. Um, there was kind of an interesting and it's kind of becoming a mainstream conspiracy. And I've looked into it 
mediocrely and you know there's some points to it but there's a lot of people that are saying that particularly where a lot of these fires have been started that they run in line coincidentally with a controversial high-speed rail across the oh island my goodness. really yeah and it just happened to if you look at the map and you look at the starting points of some of these fires i thought it was like all around and... the water completely it is, but it's like the concentrated like area apparently where some of the like a majority of these were started were along the line of this high speed rail project that has been getting a lot of backlash because of the potential impact on wildlife. And then there's also a spiraling conspiracy off of that where people are saying it's potentially some extremist global warming activists that well they've arrested they've arrested to... people for arson so there have been people i yes there has been people but there's well now are those people the gonna go to california and oh they better not you know light up uh governor Mo governor uh moonbeams rail here his high speed rail dude you never know you know, we have wild flocks of uh, heroin addicts here in beautiful California, and they might hurt their Don't we in every outside. state? You know? I think that's in every state, buddy. It's not just California. All the fields of storm drains that barely get water, you know, it's, it, we can't hurt that. Right. Ooh. And I actually have heard people talking about the fires in Australia, they do literally have some of the same problems with with the activists there, um, with them oh, cutting yeah. down trees Anywhere. and so on and so forth that are preventing them. And the government plays along, so fuck them too. But they well, ours plays along. Sure, too. sure. It's, it's right. the name of the game. They play along with the crazies and like, hey, you don't want us to cut down trees, we won't, we won't cut down trees. And then, and then, yeah. you know, because they've completely shut down forestry in uh, California, right? People don't. There's no logging industry there. Uh, there's still so, logging. There's still logging, but it's it's not it's not what it used to be. You know, thirty years right. ago. So that, I mean, from what I understand, I'm not going to claim to be an expert, although they're I'm actually they're there. actually encouraging. They're giving out like wood permits, like. As, as far as like up here locally um, they're actually giving out like firewood firewood permits for like a fraction of the price because they're encouraging people to go out in the woods and cut down dead and dying trees to um, eliminate some of the fire risk okay, get rid of the dead fire. fuel that's fine. which yeah. I was absolutely astonished that like California would admit that there might be a problem and do something halfway reasonable to rectify right. some of it although it's not a long-term solution it's yeah. something that i can give them at least a little it's bit of their own responsible logging. there are 500 and there's 518 logging companies in california yes there is it's a good amount there's a lot there's a lot and I, I would almost guarantee you, most of them are, you know, you put a line from San Francisco over, I'd say most of them are above that. Yeah. Up here in the north. Oh, you betcha. Oh, yeah, how about <laughs> Although we're not Canadian. Okay. No, no diss to the Canadians. We love our Canadians. Um, speaking of Canada, what about prince harry going uh going rogue on the royal crown and saying he wants to move to canada i mean i think as long as he stays i mean he just United States wanted here. some real french toast well it's kind of just I don't they don't know, have good funny. maple syrup on the island it's in canada well, okay true true okay just ask yeah, yeah. bubbles <laughs> okay, this isn't Trailer Park Boys, buddy. Boys. Come on, buddy. Um, so, 
yeah, he's going completely against everybody over there. They're all getting mad at him. Um, there's a vast approval rate amongst people in the UK. They're like, yeah, just go for it. Do whatever you want. But there's this little sparkling thing in the back of my head that says, hmm, are we going to see some sort of a Prince Harry assassination for breaking Rogue from the crown? Are we going to see a Princess Diana again? No. You don't think so? He doesn't happen to be friends with the queen. <laughs> He's been hanging out with him. He's been hanging out I don't know about that. Bad things happen. Oh, man. He's, he's going to be toast. Yeah. That's true. You got anything else to talk about, Corn Dog? Anything juicy? Well, you know, anything you got a couple to topics to? here. You know, we could talk right. about, you know, um, some, you know, we could talk about LSD. We can talk about Ooh, yeah. um, the 369 theory, or we can talk about okay, theory what, on. Okay, what's the deal? What's the deal with this 369? What is the deal? Give me, give me like a brief. And, I don't and if know. We need to, okay, we don't know yet. I just pulled like, up the thread, and here's one of the first comments. Why is oh sin boy. a three-letter word? Why is repent a six-letter word? Why is salvation okay. a nine-letter word? Okay. So, you know, there's a Bible Belt response right there. So, 369 conspiracy. So, we'll take a look at this and address it in another episode. I got another sure. one here. Three equals Saturn. Six equals Sun. Nine equals this. Moon. Okay. Okay. I have no idea. Six equals marriage. Three equals family. Nine equals birth. You know, these people. Dude, if you want to go three equals trip, lithium. Six that. equals carbon. I just thought it would. I, I have. Okay. I've Fire screwed three black girls in my life. Six Asian chicks oh, in like nine Mexicans. Could be what? related. Write it down. This is going so that quick. Is crazy. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay. Now let's do a theory on why the flat yeah. Earth society exists. Now, okay. not not about flat Earth theory, but why a theory exists and. Um, what this I'm going to raise about. my hand. Yes. I'm going to raise my hand here and say let's let's touch into this, but this is definitely going to have to be an entire episode to itself. Yeah. Well, Cuz you can't just yeah, like no. go too deep. So, into it. so just Cuz we could we could do the whole flat earth and hollow earth in one episode. So one quick we little might. statement about this would be that Okay. People are just starting to actually get to the point where they're questioning their reality. Yeah. You know, no. not everyone might believe in flat Earth, <laughs> but everyone is starting to think, "Well, what is Earth actually?" Everyone's just been told to accept it's a ball, but people are saying, "Well, you know, you told me cannabis was bad. Now you're telling me to smoke it. You, K Paso. We're in the age of enlightenment. K Paso." Age of Aquarius. Um, but yeah, as far, uh, as, yeah. as far as flat Earth goes, all I'm going to say about it right now is the more you start to look into debunking it, oh, the, the more hole. it starts to, you know, depending on how open you try to keep your mind, Berenstein. the more it starts to almost feel like none of these people are crazy it could have something oh, to it no that's right. kind of where i'm gonna leave it off they're all We're crazy do probably a whole episode that's where i'm gonna leave it off okay. they're crazy nuttier than shit house bats i might have that's great that's why we have you here dirt because you're the anti-conspiracy guy now dirt here's here's one more topic we're gonna have on a future show here um have any of you experienced anything paranormal while on acid and uh, um, one here is, you know, this guy uh, did pure TMX, DXM in capsules, 
and he saw reptilian with small green scales and it shape shifted and reptilians oh the water the his That's face looked like water about. dropping into a pool you know it's, it's nah, man i've seen trails that's about it on acid okay. uh all right yeah no no reptilians. Got really sick there. The arsenic okay. in the uh, LSD made me sick and shit. All right. Keep my and guts out. Agenda. Brutal. Reptiles. Hollow Earth, Flat Earth, Bigfoot. Can we do and real ones too? Stuff. Like, uh, like how the yeah, how the the. the Real ones too. The Those press, are how the press is like. Why is the global press uh, pushing the global agenda? And what is right. the global right. agenda? Bum, bum, bum. Is it connected to the aliens? Is it? Is it I mean, hundreds, agenda? hundreds of thousands of, of people died in World War Two to keep Germany from taking over Europe and now every European country is basically handed over power to Germany right with yeah yeah with the, uh, with the uh, Union uh, yeah. European Union yeah man and from you card dog um I would just like to say you know I know you're out there I know that one person is out there Whoever you are, you're listening, and you could have made Titanfall 3 happen. Um, just go back to Respawn Studios and just slap a couple people in the face and take them off of Apex Legends and get them to work on Titanfall 3. For the love of God, please. Well, if he's going to do, okay. <laughs> do shameless... Uh, uh, just bidding like that. I, I would like to say that if anybody out there in Radio Land would like to buy me a box of Slim Jim giant teriyaki sticks, they have a 24th pack for 2618 on Amazon right now. And where could good they send deal. this? It's a good deal. <laughs> you just just, just send an email and I'll make sure you get my address. Thank you. Alrighty, everybody, that is the end of the episode. If you wish to keep up with us here at the Dirty Podcast, follow us on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, everywhere where podcasts can be listened to. If you want to send in any questions, concerns, want a certain topic reviewed, want to be on the show, send us an email at tdp podcasts at gmail.com that's tdp podcasts at gmail.com thank you thank you from the dirty patriots good night america